it's logical that when you choose a cabinet member, you most like most likely you'll choose someone who's had experience in an industry related mm -hmm. to the functions of the department. Even for in the past in the DPWH, we've had secretaries who have directly <laughs> they've been developers. We've had we had contractors who become uh, secretaries. So. Uh, that, that is why, precisely why the law provides for situations like that, for conflict of interest. We have an divestment, they have different mechanisms to deal with that divestment, uh, it, you can inhibit, and uh, that's what we will do. I mean, in order to abide by the law, we will, we will do what we have to do. I'm not a uh, major owner of uh, the family business. I, I worked there for 10 years, and, I were, and uh, that's where I gained experience in master planning and such, but I'm not, uh, the, the company belongs to my father. <laughs> so you don't have any shares or even a my, my well, at, at some point I've owned some shares, but never, not of any significance. So will you be willing to divest? Definitely, there's, there's no question that uh, we, I have to divest, and there's no question in my mind that no Villar company can, can uh, benefit from my position as DPWH. Going to that uh, conflict of interest, um, do you have any um, concrete uh, plans on how you would um, assure the public that there would be no conflict of interest or that no Villier company will benefit from you know, your uh, appointment? It's a matter of transparency. Obviously, even the, may the, the mayor, uh, President, uh, our, our, our uh, presumptive president, he instructed me to create a map of all our developments across the Philippines. And uh, yeah. so to make sure that no, there, there will be no public roads, no government funds will be used to benefit any development. We will not engage in any government projects. We, never, we, don't, we don't do business with the DPWH. And uh, you know, these, are, these companies are listed companies. They're transparent. And uh, that's what I want to do. I want to increase tra transparency in the department. Speaking of transparency, um, do you feel any pressure with, um, of course, replacing Secretary Singson, who many have lo lauded for his work in the department? Magaling si Secretary Singson. At, uh, he's a tough act to follow, no doubt. Uh, but I said, uh, this is a challenge for me, and uh, I guess I also feel that I bring some new things. I bring some youth into the department, some my own idealism there, some new ideas. I come from a different generation, so I think a change in management is always healthy, and I like to bring my own management style to the department. My dream for the DPWH is when I leave, it'll be one of the uh, examples of uh, good governance in gover in. Uh, in our whole national government. So, uh, you know, we, we do that by increasing transparency, creating controls, and of course, coming from the top, leading by example. You know, I want to show people that I'm a professional, you know, I'm a technocrat, and I intend to perform. Have you already started with the transition? We've done a few uh, initial steps to make sure that the transition is smooth. I've already spoken to Secretary Singh, so he's informed me. Of, um, he's given me information, and uh, we've shared, we've already, uh, exchange notes, so to speak. So uh, we started the process. How did you feel when um, people said uh, your uh, possible appointment could be the biggest disappointment among the cabinet members of well, incoming president? It, it just adds to the for me. It just adds to the challenge. I just want to. I want to show people what I'm capable of. I show people that I can do this. I can do this job, and I can do it well. So I guess that's part of the territory, and I'm willing to accept that. And like I said before, I don't ask. The, I don't ask for support. I don't ask for. I don't even ask people to like me. I just. I just hope that they give me a chance to do my job.